in, in, in an era in an era now that we're in obviously we, you know the last three years we went through the whole me too movement per se in an era i guess you would say of the harvey weinstein aspect what advice would you give for young female actors breaking into the business to avoid those specific situations well first of all there's nothing better than your gut instinct so if something doesn't feel right it's not that's mm -hmm. one and you know and always you know take somebody with you you should never be put in a, a position where you should be by yourself i mean ever you shouldn't be walking into somebody's house reading nothing like that you know if you're walking into warner brothers to audition i mean if we're even able to walk into warner brothers to be able to have something that's not a self you know not a self tape from home then you know you've got a reception you've got a guard you got receptionist you've got you know you may be in the room with one person but you know if if you don't feel right you leave you have every mm -hmm. right to be all that you are and if that does not sit right with you then you peace the fuck out have you ever been in a position to have that casting couch experience um I have had the, a, a similar experience um, or a, an experience once-ish. And to be honest, the thing that uh, sucked maybe the most is that there was a woman in the room. So wow. um, okay. this guy that's... was uh, disgusting and there was a gal. And so that's kind of what bugs me almost the most is I was like looking back at this stuff because I luckily never really have been into something too bad. Um, but I'm, you know, I don't know. I, I, for the most part, I, I, I'm an Italian Jew. So maybe some of this sort of like, maybe you don't fuck with me so much does carry in the room a little, mm -hmm. um, but that doesn't save you from a, a total asshole situation. I'm not saying anything like that, but, um, I don't, uh, I don't have that maybe a much of a, of a gentle vibe as mm -hmm. much as, as, as maybe somebody who's a little softer around the edges would be, but. But when I look back at this particular audition, this moment, I remember going like, shit, you know, she was in there. She was in there, you know, and, and I hope that uh, she got out of there <laughs> right after my audition. And he was just, a, he was a creep and he was inappropriate. And I, uh, in the moment, was like, you know what, um, I'm going to, I'm going to leave. And I left. I didn't even read. You know, I just left. I was like, peace out. This, okay, this is a question for both of you, though. Like, you guys have obviously, you know, established both your level of celebrity. How much has your life changed once you, like, I mean, what, 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 what was the, for both of you, what was the moment that you were, like, you felt that something is different, like, in how people see you on the street or a certain role that you both, you know, got where you're like, okay, I've, I've made it. When was that moment for you, both of you? Shane, you can go first. Well, I mean, I guess to to a degree, it's kind of like it's 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 a part of it's a process. Like, I, it's still kind of happening, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't I don't know that it was a moment. I feel like I feel like I'm not there yet, you know. I feel like I'm I'm headed for that. I but but I feel like that that is more of a byproduct of you're doing what you love and you're doing it successfully and that's that's part of the stuff that comes along with it like that's obviously not the goal my my goal is certainly not to be famous and uh, it's it is to support my family and and certainly mm -hmm. make some money um but not out of greed just out of i want to support my family and 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 the thing that's really interesting to keely and i both i know is we want to sink our teeth into great material and tell you know right. great stories like that that's what i'm interested in and if that and if that turns out making you insanely famous then i guess so be it um you know that that's that's my answer what about you keely first of all hi babs and yes ghost is dead i just read that um so <laughs> ghost still me... alive he's still <laughs> he's alive just... he's coming back yes hi christy castle i see you too yeah, he's coming back. He'll be. He's gonna walk in just a minute. We're just making him some some dinner. I just can't um, wait to see Sax's face when it happens too. This motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> gonna get the gun and the bottle of alcohol again. That, <laughs> that will kill It'll be a slow mo moment. Like, It'll be. Da, 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 da. We'll run toward each other. And <laughs> brace. Fire, and then he just dies. Um, honestly, um, I think Shane's answer is pretty damn good. Um, for me, it hasn't been so much um on screen. Mine was more theater. Based okay. in terms of 
Yeah, I did a, a rock opera years ago that has sort of lived on and continues to sort of, in, you know, evolve into other projects and potentially a film. Which, which opera was or, that? You know, Bear. It was called okay. Bear. Um, so uh, and it was something I was a part of since almost right when I moved from Kansas City to L.A. Like it was, it was right, right on the heels of moving here. It's when she was falling in love with uh, one Shane Johnson. That That's true. Yeah, and me That's too. True. I saw that show. I saw that show probably fifty times, and she was incredible in it. It is an Shane, incredible show. Fun how did you guys? How did you guys meet? How did you guys meet? Oh, how did we meet, Shane? Well, the children are nearby, so I don't know that I can tell that story. <laughs> uh, we, <laughs> I was a I was a male <laughs> prostitute. He was, and he still is. Um, no, we were in our acting class together, mm -hmm. and. Um, he, we had it every Tuesday and Thursday night. And I think on Tuesday night, he was sitting, we were sitting in the same row and he was like, Hey, what's your name? And I was like, Keely. And he was like, Oh, like Keely and do, which for most people, maybe you don't know it's a play, but I knew it cause I had heard it a million times. And I was like, yeah, Wait, no, you haven't. Yeah. Yes, I was. No, I was like, yeah, yeah. Like Keely and do. And he's like, I'm Shane. And I was like, Oh, I'll remember that there was two or other Shanes in the class. And so on Thursday, we were walking toward each other at the very beginning of class. He was like, hey, Keely. And I was like, ah. I could not remember his name for the life of me. Couldn't remember his name. She still has trouble um, with me. I time. don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> we've been together. No, we've been together. <laughs> we've been married like 16 years and we've been mm -hmm. together almost 23 years. That's incredible, man. It's, so, it's, yeah. it's mind boggling, and especially in this this day and age in our industry, and that's why I said, you guys yeah. don't have a marriage, you don't have a relationship, you have an empire ship. That's what that, that's the, to me is the goal is when you're able, because as Shane said, you know, like you, you can be on this ride, but being on the ride sometimes by yourself can be depressing. And, 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 and you, and you want to be able to have that escape, but to be able yeah. to do it in the, in the continuity that you guys have done, the foundation that you've done, the trust that you've done, the 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 level of support for each other, you just don't yeah. see that anymore. Like you just do not see that in this business because it's become a doggy dog world of like, what's mine is mine, and what's yours is still mine. You know. So yeah. you obviously, as I said, you know, working. You said in theater, Shane, both working as well in theater. What for you would you find the differences working in theater compared to film? Oh, so different. In what way? What's so, your experience? Like, Shane, for you. are you going? Oh, well, well, first of all, you know, I, I haven't done theater in a very long time. Um, I, I mean, that's, that's where I cut my teeth, you know, I was doing, doing a bunch of, uh, I probably did like 35, 40 plays, you know, coming up. <clears throat> and, and there's, a certain amount of, you know, you get trying to lock in, making sure you know your lines and you know you're blocking and you don't, know, you know, when you have an audience, you, you, the show must go on, right? Mm -hmm. so, th so there's all that pressure. And then there's also like trying to be present and trying to have an experience on stage every night, especially when you're doing it for, you know, for like Keely, she did there for an entire year or longer. And so every night, like, how do you keep it fresh? How do you keep it fresh? Whereas on camera, it's like people are learning their lines sometimes right as, you know, while they're filming mm -hmm. and, and just and then yeah. trying to be organic and find stuff. I don't, I don't, you know, Keely and I don't operate that way. Like we, we try to work on it and have plans and have a character and, and know what we're doing before we show up. But it's, it's certainly much more short lived and it's, it's hotter in, 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 in some ways because it's like, it's, it's momentary and then it's gone, you mm -hmm. know, whereas with theater, it's it's ongoing and you know like keely's been in a couple of huge movies that um were you know so I, so I wouldn't argue that what she said that that you know bear did a ton for her the show did a ton for her but you know malibu's most wanted obviously has become a, a cult classic and and pain and gain was an awesome movie and she did an incredible job in it and i feel like she's got a, a bunch of her fan base comes from that as well mm -hmm. um and she gets a lot of very interesting dick pics and things like that in her DMs. I do. And, and I love them. All of yeah. them. I'm, I'm yeah. keeping a book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, 
Because that's, <laughs> I don't what, know. that's what, by the way, that's what women, women love that. Women. We do. Yeah. No, we you love... don't. No, you don't. You really <laughs> don't. You, because you, oh, no. I've, I've always wondered a thing of like, when the, like for me, like when these guys decide to send this shit, like, I'm like, what do you expect the response to be? Like when she opens it up, like, Hey, that's a nice package. Meet me on Wednesday. Like what, what goes through someone's head? I couldn't even imagine myself like sitting there whipping up my shit, <laughs> snap, <laughs> upload, <laughs> send, girls tag. Up. Girls do this shit all the time. It's only fair that we get it in return. I'm just glad I don't see faces because I don't want to imagine their face. I just want to focus on what I'm saying. That's it. <laughs> that's all I need. I don't want to connect yeah. to the nice disconnect. Yeah, Keely's. Yeah, that's her. That's her thing. That's how we met. We met. Yeah, at, a, we a actually met hole. at a glory yeah. hole. At a glory <laughs> hole. Yeah. That was. Uh, that was the that introduction. Also, let me <laughs> let me ask you both. I mean, you guys you guys been doing this for a long time as well. Like, do you guys still get nervous in, uh, in front of a camera? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it can happen. It can definitely happen. Yeah, you kind of want to want to get one out of the chamber a little bit, you know, and that and that helps. Um, it, and and theater too. Theater. I mean, in terms of the last conversation we were just having, theater is mm -hmm. you got one shot. That's it. Mm -hmm. You know, you go up on your lines, like no one's resetting for you. Like you got to figure your shit out, particularly in a musical, because unless you're just going to start like happy birthday to, and then the chicken, then, you know, you can't make that up. It's like what it is at, you mm -hmm. know, to a rhythm. So that's it. You get one shot, but yeah, you can, you can get nervous, but you know, ultimately, hopefully you've done enough, enough reps in um, working on your material that, now it's just like and action and it's just another rep and then you get another rep and then a you know a different angle but yeah you can have nerves i know that he gets nerves too do you prefer the pressure do you prefer the pressure of like the theater more than you know the slow aspect of prime time no preference different beast yeah which one do you find you? more challenging me uh, i mean theater is more challenging way more challenging way more challenging like to yeah. me that you have yeah, to be yeah, yeah. on but i but i believe that 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 pressure the way i look at it it's i, I said this to shane before is that like whether whether you know because we're all looking for that i think as actors you got you guys have obviously seen the movie legends of the fall with brad pitt yes yeah okay yes and i think we've all when we get into the business want that moment that brad had at the end of that movie where you're like the first time you saw it you're like this guy's going to be a star like you knew in that moment yeah. that this guy was going to be something special and i believe that like when you yeah. when you're going for any any job or even necessarily <clears throat> and this all something with shane like with some of you get a bad script you get a really you know crappy script Mm -hmm. it's up to you i believe as an actor to find a way to make the script work even if it's shit because i look at yeah. that potential person that's watching you for the first time it's almost like an addition for another role that you haven't gotten like you could play oh, yeah. it and be really crappy and just say okay you know is, what up that is your audition for your next or down the road piece that's correct you it's always up to you and yes i i heard you guys discussing like you know uh eh, actor versus meh script and i i i do agree but that being said you know you can still have someone make some good choices you'll i think some stuff can be forgivable if somebody makes some interesting choices so what's your like what, i mean for both of you like what what's your approach when it comes to taking a certain role are you more interested in the script? Are you more interested in who's in the movie per se with you, who you're working with, or who's directing it? Script, director, who's in it for me, I would yeah. say. Yeah, I would say that too. And, and, when it, and then, and also the part, right? Like you, your particular part in it. And because sometimes, you know, you'd be like, oh, this is really great, but I'm not, this isn't my casting or I'm not into that particular role. But, um, but you know, I, I would agree. I think it's this, the script first and foremost is the thing that's going to be, be exciting, you know, 
because we've all had those auditions for things that you're like, well, it's actually a pretty interesting role, but the script is awful. Mm -hmm. um, yes. But I'll tell you, the very first job that I had when I moved out to L.A. was I worked for a friend's mom who was a, a fantastic casting director who has Phyllis Huffman, who has since passed. But she cast all of Clint Eastwood's pieces. And so I got to work with Clint, which was amazing. And he is fantastic as a human being, but he was just great. But Clint gives you one take and mm -hmm. then you move on. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, that's it. Unless a light or a boom is just going to go, across, <laughs> that, that's all the fuck he's given you. That is mm -hmm. it. So um, I think it's really important to find out who the director is. When, when I booked Pain and Gain and I knew it was Michael Bay, I told me a little bit about what we were going to do with this piece. You know, I knew how he shot things. I knew, I knew what kind of action he wanted. But this was a piece that he had wanted to do for like 20 years. Mm -hmm. But he had all these deals with Paramount before that. So they wanted just action, action, action. And he wanted something that was a little more story driven. It was a very different piece for him. Um, but it's, you know, you learn a lot from who's attached to a piece. But script is obviously, you know, the very biggest clue that you're going to get. What about you, Shane? Yeah, I, I would say that. I would 100% say that it's the, the script. And sometimes something is just so incredibly written that you're just like, oh, my God, I, I, I have to be in this movie. Now, granted, you might not get cast in it, but, but just as an actor, that's where you, your heart goes as you go, this script is unbelievable. And, right. um, and just to be, you know, a part of something like that sometimes is worthwhile. Um, you know, but you also just never know. I mean, you never know. Sometimes little movies, sometimes movies, I mean, like, look at just as an example of Goodwill Hunting that everybody passed on and no one wanted to make. And mm -hmm. finally, right. was it Gus, Gus Van Sant finally at a party was like, all right, fine, I'll do your movie, whatever that story is. And then he ends up winning an Academy Award for, you know, they win an Academy Award for the best screenplay and they couldn't get the movie made, you know, mm -hmm. and for, so, and there's, there, that's just like one example, but there are so many stories that are like that. So the other thing I would say is if you're a creative, if you've got a script, if you're a talent, b believing in yourself and believing in this, this story that you have to tell is, right. is valid. I mean, it's one of the things that, you know, Keely and I are doing now is going, what can we get off the ground and produce ourselves and act in ourselves right. and, and wrangle people together for and use our relationships to make happen because and it's scary because you're putting your ass on the line you're vouching mm -hmm. for the, you're vouching for the material you're 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 demanding the money the, the the budget and then you're also roping your friends and and loved ones into this thing and you're putting your ass on the line but mm -hmm. you know, and that's the truth and that's and that the whole i think the whole key to that is having like all the right motherfuckers around you you know mm -hmm. and i'm looking on here and i'm seeing steve's on there and maya's on there and johnny crown's on there and bab's on there and i see you gabe um you know all these people and they we you know in our studio richard tells us to just not wait don't wait for the phone to ring you just create your own shit mm -hmm. like, i mean you know whatever it is that you're after you just you create the evidence and then you present it to the world and maybe it's not the first Maybe it's not the first person who answers the second person or whatever, but we've all, I mean, like Johnny Crown's got um, like a comic book series, you know, I'm, I'm sure he thought I'm coming out here to do, you know, he's a musician as well and, and an actor and he's great at all those things, but like you create your own shit, you know, and then um, you just, you have to have that, that force, but we all in, in our group of friends, we all, you know, we support each other and say like, how's that thing going? Like, come on, how can I help you? Like, we've had more people hold booms for each other and like shoot shit and help edit or find the right song. Um, and that's how.